Um, I grew up playing anything sport, anything competition-wise, uh, from taekwondo to hockey, uh, basketball, baseball, soccer. I think I started taekwondo when I was in elementary school, so around third grade, whatever age that would be, and then I started wrestling competitively uh, in high school. It made me an athlete, definitely. Uh, wrestling's all about angles, and it helps immensely out on the mat when we're doing martial arts. It was a little intimidating because it was... Uh, open weight class, you know, you got gi, no gi, boxing gloves, wrestling shoes, uh, no hold barred, so Tank Abbott, that's what I remember of the early days. Unreal, it was probably the biggest adrenaline rush I've ever had. So, knowing that that guy across from you is coming at you is an unreal feeling. My awareness in the cage definitely has come around, um, but I still have that angst, I'm still shaking and nervous right before I step in and has it until that bell rings. Um, I don't turn it on until I get hit. For some reason I'm a slow start. Uh, until I get my bell rung, do I realize I need to go. I'm in a fight and does the animal really actually come out. Jovial. Um, I like to laugh. I like to have a good time. Uh, very close with my family. So I'm very uh, tight-knit with my friends and my family. So I see. I think they describe me as, as funny, kind of a prankster, but uh, very laid back. MMA to me is probably one of the most humbling sports. Um, I think Mike Tyson said it best. There's nothing more humbling than having another man kick your butt. So, I mean, getting rocked and picking yourself back up and going again it just teaches some sort of discipline that really can't be taught anywhere else. I really beat myself in that fight, and that's what hurts the most, is I was physically prepared, but mentally I didn't show up to the fight. So you can be you know, the best fighter in the world, but if you have self-defeating thoughts or if you're having a slow day cognitively, you're going to beat yourself. I say, I would think where I'm at now as a person, I'm pretty content on who I am and how I feel and how I see myself. So I think that's probably the biggest accomplishment.